Okay, uh, here we're gonna install a TensorFlow library using Anaconda environment. So first open the anaconda.org library to install the Anaconda. Download the Anaconda by clicking on the button. Okay, so here you can see uh, you can uh, install Anaconda for different operating system like Mac, Linux, and Windows. So here uh, there are two different operating system installers. So you can check uh, by looking at your own operating system. Here I have a 64-bit operating system, so I'm gonna install 64-bit installer. And also check the Python version by using command Python space hyphen V. So I have installed both the version of Python, but to Currently, I'm going to use Python 3.6 version to install the Anaconda and TensorFlow library. So let's download Python 3.6 version 64-bit Anaconda graphical installer. It'll take a couple of minutes to download the installer. So uh, you can also install a Anaconda for Python 2.7 version with the different operating system like 64-bit and 32-bit. So there's also an option to install a Python 3.5 versions. So let's check how to install Python 3.5 Anaconda version. So in FAQ they have mentioned how to get Anaconda with Python 3.5. We're not gonna go in deep right now, so let's continue with our installation. Click on the open. Check here, it's your 64 bit setups. So let's press next, press agree, next. This is your destination folder where Anaconda got installed. We're not gonna set an environment path variable or we're not gonna make it default for Python 3.6. We'll do it manually afterward. This installation process is gonna take a couple of minutes to install the Anaconda version. Let's check how to install the Anaconda 3.5. So they mentioned here you can create a separate Python 3.5 environment. So let's check how to make the Python 3.5 environment. So here you can see you can uh, there are different uh, Python versions available for the Anaconda. You can see here how to create an environment for your Python version. They have created Python 336 as an environment name, but you can put whatever name you want. So here you can find all the questions and answers if you get any. So um, Anaconda is basically high performance Python distribution for the machine learning engineers and data scientists because it's easy, you can easily install thousand plus packages of the data science. So let's check how many packages, like what are the packages you can install. So he can, here you can check, it's a package list. You can install all the packages for different Python versions and different operating systems like Python 3.6, 3.5, 2.7 with all the operating systems. Let's fast forward this installation process because it's taking too much time. Once Anaconda got installed, we'll set the environment variable path in our uh, Windows machine and I'll show you how to, how to set an environment variable path. So it is completed now. You can see this completed message here, right? So now press the next. Anaconda has partnership with the Microsoft. So they are suggesting us to install a Microsoft Visual Studio code. You can install Microsoft Studio code by clicking on the button, but we, we're not gonna do that. Let's skip that. Press the next, finish. 
Now we'll set an environment variable path for our anaconda so that we can use the conda uh, commands through our command line. Open the installation package. Open the scripts. Here you can see it's conda.exe. So we're going to copy this uh, system and variable path. Copy this path. Okay, so now open advanced system settings. Click on the environment variables. In the system variables, open the path. So now add the new path here. Press OK. Press OK. And again OK. Now open the command prompts. Now we'll create a virtual environment to install our TensorFlow library. You can create a virtual environment by using this command conda create hyphen n. TensorFlow, we're gonna name it TensorFlow right now. And you can also mention a Python version here. Whatever Python version you like, you can use Python equal 3.5 or 3.6. So we're gonna continue with Python 3.6 right now. So it's gonna install all the required packages for the virtual environment. So it's it's done now. So now we can activate the virtual environment by using keyword activate tensorflow so now we are in tensorflow virtual environment so now we'll install a tensorflow library by using this command conda space installed space tensorflow you can also mention a tensorflow particular tensorflow version by putting tensorflow equals 1.5 or 1.8 or 1.6 or 1.1 if you don't put anything, it's going to automatically install the latest version of TensorFlow. Hit the enter. So this is the best thing of using Anaconda to install any kind of libraries because it will automatically install all the requirements in their particular versions. Here you can see the system is installing TensorFlow version 1.8 and it's, it is a CPU version. After this process, we'll continue with uh, how to install a TensorFlow GPU version. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to get installed. Once it gets installed, we'll check whether it's successfully installed or not. It is verifying the transaction. Okay, it's installed now. Now use the Python keyword to open the Python command prompt so that we can import the TensorFlow library. So it is a Python 3.6 version. So let's import the TensorFlow library by using import TensorFlow as TF. Oh, it's successfully installed. So let's check the version of TensorFlow. It is the latest version 1.8.0. So we have successfully installed a TensorFlow CPU version. Let's deactivate the current environment by using keyword deactivate. After that, we're gonna install a GPU version of TensorFlow. So let's again activate our virtual environment by using keyword activate TensorFlow. We can use the uh, command conda install tensorflow hyphen gpu to install the gpu version of tensorflow here you can see it's installing all the required packages it's installing cudnn cuda toolkit and tensorflow gpu so this is the best thing to use Anaconda because uh, it installs all the required packages in their appropriate versions so that we don't need to worry about versions and the requirements uh, before installing our package. You can see it is, it, it is installing a TensorFlow GPU of 1.8.0 version. Here also, once it gets installed, we'll open the Python command prompt to check whether it's installed correctly or not. It is taking time. Let's fast forward this.
Oh, it successfully got installed. So now we'll open a Python command prompt to check whether we can successfully import the library or not. Now let's import the Python, let's import the TensorFlow library. Okay, we can successfully import the TensorFlow library in uh, Windows machine now. It's a GPU version. Let's check the uh, what version it got installed. It's 1.8.0. It's the latest version of the TensorFlow. Let's deactivate the uh, environment. Now we'll install a TensorFlow library in Mac machine. So to install the TensorFlow with Anaconda, let's go to again go to the anaconda.org website and choose the Mac OS. We're gonna install a 64-bit graphical installer because we don't need to worry about any kind of commands. We can just use the graphical installer version to make it more easy and fast. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to get in, uh, download the file. Okay, now click on the Anaconda package. Press the continue button. Continue. Again, continue. Let's agree this license by pressing agree. So this installation will take 2.17 GB of space in your computer. So let's continue again. Install. Enter your password here. Okay, so this installation process again gonna take couple of minutes Again, it's asking for us to install the Microsoft Visual Studio code. Press continue. Close this window. No, I don't need this uh, installer again, so I'm gonna move it to the trash. Okay, now open the terminal. Use the keyword conda to make sure that your Anaconda got installed successfully. So, okay. Here you can see once you use the conda keyword, it's asking for you to, it's, it's giving you a help to check whether it's installed and how to use the anaconda. And to get the further help, you can use conda space hyphen h to check what you can do with the anaconda. So there is always a good thing to create in virtual environment before installing any kind of libraries so, so that it don't mess with the original version of Python that is installed in your computer. Let's create an environment by using this command conda create hyphen n and you can use any uh, name to make your virtual environment. We're going to use it TensorFlow right now and we will mention a python version here again you can choose any of uh, the python version 3.5 or 3.6 but uh, we'll continue with the python 3.6 hit the enter button so it is installing and creating a virtual environment for our anaconda it is installing all the required libraries. Okay, to activate the um, Anaconda virtual env environment, you can use source activate in your environment name. So now we are in TensorFlow environment. We are like separate from the actual operating system. Now we'll install the TensorFlow by using Conda install TensorFlow. And again, you can choose any versions if you want, but we'll continue with uh, the latest version so we're not gonna put any kind of uh, numbers after the tensorflow and in mac os uh, there is always a cpu version because people generally don't use gpu with the mac os right so uh, we're gonna check the tensorflow cpu version oh it successfully got installed okay now we'll import a tensorflow library whether we can successfully able to import this or not so it's it's it got successfully imported let's check the tensorflow version okay it's a tensorflow 1.1.0 the latest version for the mac os 
Thank you for watching this video.